So I'm reading the comment section yesterday when it gets announced that the Negro Leagues are now going to be joined with Major League Baseball history for stats. And as a result, that means there is a new all-time great, right? And this is kind of a whether people don't like it or not situation because I really don't give a damn. And one of the things that really irritated me was I kept reading comments and said, well, what about Ushiro? Are we going to carry his Japan stats over to America? Here's the deal. And I want to be very, very clear once again with what I'm about to say here. And that is Ishiro was not forced at any point in his life to play separately from the major leagues. Once he was ready, they brought him up. Once he was discovered, whatever the case you want to, however you want to frame it, however you want to say it, whatever the case may be, once he was ready, he was brought up. Black people back then literally had no choice literally had no chance and literally their stats should be incorporated because had they been in the MLB history would certainly read differently altogether it would change the course of any given situation you could possibly think of you know, it's amazing to me the amount of people that say, oh, I love the movie 42. It's just so sad that he had to go through that. I mean, can you imagine every single game, every single game just constantly being called the N-word? What a, what a travesty that, you know, he really fought. And good on him. He didn't really ever retaliate. You know, he stayed strong. He was the bigger person. First of all, shouldn't have had to have been the bigger person. Let's be clear about that. And secondly, uh, well, here we are again, right? No, 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 no. Stay out of the MLB, bro. Don't, don't, don't let anybody cross over to there. That doesn't make sense. Why would we allow the crossover? See, you're doing the same thing without doing the same thing. So, dear fellow white people. And by the way, to hell with Zuckerberg, who took my comment down and listed it as spam when I said this initially. This is exactly what I'm talking about right here. It's not that you're purposely being prejudiced a lot of times or purposely being racist. I understand it's an inadvertent thing. You can't wrap your head around it. You're tired of all the woke BS. This isn't woke BS. This is something that should have actually happened back then. Had the right thing been done in the first place, this wouldn't even be a subject of debate. It would be normal, which is what it should be. Normal. But, you know, can't handle it, can you? And why? What what is your legitimate hang-up about this? What argument do you really have other than, well, Ishiro was in Japan. Are we going to start incorporating his stats too? They might could. If you keep fucking around, you're going to find out. Look, here's the bottom line. And, and, and I want everybody to, to know that I'm saying this from the heart. I really mean this. This is not journalistic talk. This is not me puffed up, loving hearing myself speak. This is somebody who came up with a group of people who always looked out for me, especially my A1 P-Dub. When nobody else accepted me, when nobody else friended me, when nobody else would come over to my house, when nobody else gave me, I, I said lunch after lunch after lunch in school alone, a group of homies gave me a spot to sit. A group of homies came over to my crib. Matter of fact, my A1 is why I'm back in radio. My A1 is why I'm getting ready to be on HHN TV. And my A1 was called the N-word by my pop. One of my other homies was called the N-word by my grandmother. I've seen this firsthand. When I tell you that I've seen it straight up and that it still exists and it's obvious because 
you have a problem with the integration once again. You you don't hear yourself talk. You don't you don't see what you write and think to yourself, maybe I could be wrong. You know you don't do that at all. You know you don't want to listen to the other side. So what's the point of anybody talking? And that's just it. That's where the frustration comes in for a lot of people that I know. Like, man, they don't want to listen anyways, bro. They they don't care. Do I agree with everything that the homies say to me? No. Do they agree with everything I say to them? No. But here's the difference. We actually listen to each other. It's not a bad thing. And so what if a new record holder exists? Listen, fellow white people, I know it's hard. Okay? You ain't got sh- when it comes to sports. And that's why people cling on to Tom Brady like a motherfucker. Well, and then here comes Patrick Mahomes. I know, bro. I know. But it is what it is, and it's just too damn bad. If they've been given the chance back in the day, the way black people should have been given the chance, i.e. Jackie, they would have been putting up these numbers anyway. Maybe even more so. Sports should not be relegated to color. And the recognition is long overdue. Well, they got a museum in Kansas City. What more do they want? Do you hear yourself? What more do they want? Like indentured servants, stay over there, bro. We gave you a little something. What more do you need? Would somebody talk to you like that? Would you appreciate being talked down to like that? Do you understand what it sounds like? Of course, and again, I could talk till I'm blue in the face and a lot of you are just going to get pissed off and offended and not really sit back and think. And that's fine. But if I can potentially change the view or at least get somebody to actually listen and, and, and please do not hit me with the, well, my one black friend says, <laughs> you, 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 you probably never heard of going along to get along, have you? Forget about it. It's done. There's nothing you can do about it, regardless of how mad you are. Stay mad. Be mad. I don't give a damn. To hell with Zuck. I don't care. He blocked out my comment. I don't care. I said what I said. I meant every word of it, and that's all there is to a compadre. Uh, 